Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Hit that like button down below if you're having a good day or if you're excited to get towards the Shadow and Ghost versions of Midas because today we're going to be going over the Midas challenges. That's right, all 10 of them, including the locations of Midas's Golden Llama, the location of the Pink Teddy Bears, and of course tips and tricks and secrets to get all of the other challenges done as fast as possible so you guys can get that XP and level up towards those golden styles of the skins. So yeah, now as a reminder guys if you haven't yet be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications for more guides like this coming up in the near future tomorrow morning i will be posting my deadpool challenges guide for week nine you definitely don't want to miss those and on top of that if you want to help support the channel be sure to use code the llamaser in the item shop as an epic partner it helps support the channel and i appreciate it a ton but without further ado let's go ahead and jump on into it all right guys but let's go ahead and hop into game here so i can show you how to do one of the first challenges which is pretty tough and it is a location based challenge that one is carry a giant pink teddy bear found in risky reels 100 meters now that one may not seem super tough i'll show you the location of it here but the main thing that actually makes it difficult is the fact that a lot of other people are going to be going for these and there's only four at risky reels at a time i'm pretty sure now the thing about this is that a lot of other people are going to be trying to do this challenge if you're doing these challenges like soon after they go live i was thinking maybe you could do solo squad squads because generally people don't do challenges in squads so you may not run into anybody at uh risky reels that's something you can do but honestly i feel like you should be able to get it done in team rumble if you get a lucky bus path and it's on your side of the map so choose whichever one you feel most comfortable with or try them both if you just can't get to one of the bears fast enough but yeah like for example this would probably work for us because our bus path is on the side of risky reels which again is right there to the north of the agency and basically the bears the location of the bears is right in the center of risky reels like right where i put that marker so yeah jumping out of the battle bus you are going to want to dive down as quick as you can because you do have to beat everybody else at uh, getting to these bears which you'll see in a second and remember team rumble has a lower glider path so that is uh that would have worked well if that tree wasn't in the way but um that's not too bad if we can get a bunny hop yeah, we got a bunny hop. All right, so that was actually a pretty good drop because then we would run right over here to these bears. And as you can see, there are four of them to pick up. So yeah, if you're like fifth here, you're not gonna be able to get a bear. But as you can see, yeah, here are the bears. So all you do is go up to them and there's a button you can press to pick them up. And then you're going to have to run them 100 meters, which just looks super funny. <laughs> I mean, what can you really say about this? I'm carrying a giant teddy bear. You can also throw the teddy bear, which is pretty funny. Now also guys, since we're in Team Rumbles, there is a challenge where you have to open either a supply llama a rare chest or a supply drop so if you're in team rumble that's like the best mode to get this done because at about four minutes on the first storm moving timer is when the first set of supply drops spawn in the middle circle so after you get that challenge done maybe you can go ahead and go for some supply drops but like as you can see right here it's going to switch over to four minutes and there the airdrops spawn as you can see there are three of them on the other side but that's all right we can just glide on over there and as you can see here, we have a supply drop right above us. So knock it down out of the tree, the Deadpool supply drop, open it up. And then there you go. You're working towards that challenge. And again, the supply drops spawn throughout Team Rumble. So there's plenty to look for. Now, after that then guys, let's go over the challenge. Search chests in different named locations because I have a trick for this to get it done very, very fast. But basically it's some locations that are very close together. The way that I would recommend doing it is starting at the rig, then going over to Slurpee Swamp. Then you can head over to Weeping Woods. After that, simply go over to Holly Hedges, and then you can go to either Salty Springs or Sweaty Sands. Now, those locations are very, very close together. If you take a look at the map as a whole, they're definitely the closest, especially those first four. And of course, there's a lot of water in between them, so you can grab one of the boats and just fly in between those locations very easily. Remember, you do have to search a chest in each different one, but honestly, if you follow that route, it should go by very fast. And then for the third challenge before we hop into it with the golden llama challenge you also have the one where you have to upgrade a weapon to legendary rarity at an upgrade bench now the way that i would recommend going about doing this one is to simply hop into team rumble there's two reasons for that the first of which is because you start off with a bunch of materials 150 of each material and on top of that it also spawns uh blue rarity items and above so you'll likely be able to find a purple rarity weapon but even if you start at blue it only costs i think 
think 150 of each material to get it to epic and then after that 200 of each material to get it to legendary so very easy overall but moving on here guys to another location based challenge this is a pretty tough one it is the one where you have to search Midas's golden llama between a junkyard gas station and an RV campsite so don't worry I've got the exact location of that and for this one just do whatever game mode team rumble is fine it honestly doesn't matter now to make it easier guys to showcase where this is let's hop into a replay right here now the general area of the map that you want to head to is over towards frenzy farm we're actually going to need to go to the east of frenzy farm in this general area right there so yeah find frenzy farm on the map and then simply head to the right of it on the mini map you guys know and you will be able to find the locations listed in the challenge you have got the gas station right over here as you can see perfect and then over in this area is the junkyard and then finally if you move all the way over to this spot you have got the RV park or like sort of an RV park there's just one RV there but either way if you go in between all of those you'll be able to find this small building and that is where you will be able to find the golden llama because if you go inside of there as you can see Midas's golden llama is hanging up on the wall and all you're going to need to do is go up to that and search it and that will be how you complete the challenge very easy to do as long as you know the exact location and then after that guys keeping it going here let's talk about the challenge collect XP coins you have to collect a total of five of them now for this one honestly I wouldn't even worry about it in fact I would try to get the other challenges done first and as you're going about doing those just keep an eye out for any coin that you might see again you can get four different coins as of right now the easiest is the green coins and those can be found the most around the map nothing special with those then there's the purple coins which do that special thing that like spin all of the coins around and you have to pick them up then after that are the blue coins now keep in mind with those they only stay on the map for a few minutes towards the start of a match after a certain time they all disappear from the map and then finally you have got the golden coins which can be found inside of the vaults but yeah again just do your other challenges and keep an eye out for the green blue and also purple those are the most common then after that you also have the one where you have to deal damage to a chopper with a passenger or pilot inside now that one's a little bit tough because you well sort of have to get lucky and find other players in a chopper however honestly if you're just playing solo duels or squads with some friends you're bound to find somebody driving around in a chopper in fact I feel like it's more common in squads especially towards the edges of the map where people have to move into the circle from a far distance and then you can simply you know fire at that chopper from anywhere and you'll get that damage done very easily then keeping it going here you also have the challenge where you have to deal damage to players with sniper rifles a total of 300 damage which is basically three shots unless you hit two headshots with like a heavy sniper or actually I can't remember does a heavy sniper deal 300 damage as a headshot I think it does right so honestly you can go for that and get this challenge done very fast but the easier more consistent way to get it done is to simply hop into a team rumble match at the beginning of the game look around for a sniper or maybe you can do the search chests in different named locations challenge and while you're doing that keep an eye out for a sniper because then you can bring it into the circle and start dealing that damage you don't even have to get eliminations and something that might be worth trying is going into like solo and going to the grotto there's a ton of snipers there that you can find and also you can see if the damage counts if you deal damage to a henchman I don't think it will but if you happen to be over there it's still worth a try then for the second to last challenge you have earned survival combat or scavenger gold medals you have to get a total of three of those now the way that I would recommend going about doing this is to simply hop into team rumble obviously that's the most easy way to get it done but by far the most easy of all of the medals is the scavenger medal where you have to basically open up I think it's 12 chests in team rumble I think it's a bit less in the normal modes somewhere around 10 I think but in team rumble I'm pretty sure it is 12 and that's very easy to do you just drop at a named location that none of your teammates dropped at and you can search all of the chests and get that done very very fast and of course you can also go for the combat medals which I'm pretty sure are like deal damage with an AR so you can totally go for that challenge too but again it might take multiple games to get done but it's not really much of a problem and then finally guys for the last challenge this is the one where you have to gather intel during spy games operation matches now for this one there's not a whole lot of tips and tricks I can give you because these modes do seem to rotate quite often and honestly getting Intel is very easy as long as you play the objective and do well in the modes you're bound to get more and more Intel and I'm sure you guys have played a bunch of spy games so you probably understand how the Intel works generally it's like if you win around you get some Intel so if you just hop into spy games and play a bunch of matches you're bound to get that stuff done eventually it's probably one of the easiest challenges this 
this week. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for the Deadpool Challenges Guide coming out tomorrow. And also be sure to check out the previous video that talks about a bunch of free items. One of them is the Deadpool skin, but there's a bunch of other free items that you can get that I explained. But again, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.